Welcome to Infinite Learnopedia channel. This video covers two Chrome extensions for Google Meet. I have already shared two videos based on how to take attendance in Google Meet using laptop, desktop, computers or even mobile phones. Link of videos is given in the description box. At the end of this video, I will share with you the difference between the three Chrome extensions for Google Meet. Let's start. As in this video, I will share with you two Chrome extensions. Let's start with the first one. The first one is Google Meet Attendance Extension. In the Google search engine, type Chrome Web Store. Click on Extensions. In the search box, type Google Meet Attendance. Extensions are visible here. This is the Meet Attendance extension I have already shared with you all. The first extension I will share with you in this video is Google Meet Attendance. Click on the extension. Click on Add to Chrome. Click Add Extension. After clicking on extension, here you can see it is automatically added to the Chrome. Google Meet Attendance has been added to Chrome. After adding the extension, you can see here added. Now let's start Meet. Click on Join now. In the Google Meet, you can view people using this option. You can see the number of people in the Meet. To take attendance in Google Meet, below next to camera, you will find one tick option. This is Google Meet attendance. Select it. So this is the window of Google Meet attendance. In the class list option, you can view the class list, my classes and other options. Using add option, you can add your class, type your class name and add your class. Close using this close option. Reset option can be used to reset the class. Next to the class list, this option is used to clear the class field. Second option can be used to clear the class attendance. The third option is used to start the current time. When you click on the third option, the start time starts. Fourth option is to save the attendance in CSV file. A spreadsheet is created using the fourth option. Using the fifth option, an HTML file is created. To the bottom of the window, small setting options is visible. Click on the settings. From this options, settings can be adjusted. First is automatically remove previous meet checks. This will automatically clear the previous meet checks. Second option will automatically save attendance into HTML file. Third option will automatically create a spreadsheet. Fourth option will automatically hide the attendance window after 10 seconds. You can set the time. Maximum number of names in the class can be 256. You can set the number of students. Default set number is 256. You can sort the names of the students by first name, last name and none. Backup of the names and list can be done. You can generate logs. Check the logs option. After applying all the settings, close the window. The Google Meet Attendance extension creates the list of 
participants except the host. As you can see, there are two participants in the attendance list. Only one participant can be seen. To create list during meet, click on the save attendance option. Here you can see a spreadsheet is created of the attendance. Now I will end up the meet. After leaving the meet, you can see two files are automatically created. One is the HTML file and one is the Excel file. Download the spreadsheet from downloads. So this is the class list. Check and open. So this is the class list. Copy the list and keep it safe. Now let's see the second extension. In the Chrome Web Store, type Google Meet Attendance Collector. This is the second Chrome extension for attendance Google Meet Attendance Collector. Here you can see added as I have already added this. In the similar way, add this extension. Click on add to Chrome and second step, click on add extension. The extension will be automatically added in the Chrome. Next step is to start a meet. Now let's take a look how to use the second extension. You will prefer taking attendance 10 minutes before the end of the lecture. To take attendance using Google Meet Attendance Collector, your extensions icon is visible. Click on this extension. Here you will find Google Meet Attendance Collector. Click on this. When you click on this, a window will appear, Meet Attendance Collector. In this, here are some guidelines you can read. This shows the total number of members in the meet. Using download, you can download a, a spreadsheet of the attendance. Using the refresh option, you can refresh. Clear option clears members. Click on download option. Here, a spreadsheet is downloaded. Click open. This is the attendance list. So this meet attendance collector records all the participants except the host. So these are the two Chrome extensions. Now let's see the difference between all three Chrome extensions for Google Meet I have shared. The number one extension is the meet attendance. This one, the first meet attendance extension creates a spreadsheet of all the participants in the meet as you can see here. So this meet attendance creates different sheet in one file. As you can see here below, different sheets are created into one file. It also records join date, join time and left time. Google meet attendance. The second extension creates a spreadsheet automatically after the meet. It records the participant's name, start time, end time, and total time. This creates different sheets for different meet. The third extension is Google Meet Attendance Collector. It creates spreadsheets only with participants' names, total number of participants, date, end time, and all the participants. So friends, these are the three Chrome extensions. You can use these Chrome extensions to take attendance in Google Meet. Subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.